Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, July 25th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. My cat is over there. Hello, sweetheart. Just having eaten. Giving herself a small bath. And I have with me today this beautiful depiction from the Hubble telescope of a planetary nebula. It says a star can become a planetary nebula after it depletes its nuclear fuel and begins puffing away layers of material. The material settles into a wind of gas and dust blowing away from the dying star. An intense ultraviolet radiation from the central star lights up a region of the surrounding gas. Someday, millennia in the future, I hope, our own sun will have a similar colorful ending, burning Earth to a cinder in the process. We continue in the Gospel of Matthew this morning. Jesus is now in the height of the abuse before the cross. Pilate washes his hands and says, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. The soldiers take Jesus into Pilate's chambers and headquarters as if Pilate has just left the scene. And they strip him and they flog him and they put a crown of thorns around his head and a red robe on him. And they laugh at him and spit on him. And then they take that red robe off and put it, his regular clothes on. Jesus gets quieter and quieter. It's as if he withdraws to a place deep inside of himself. He no longer fights it. He just lets it happen. Why did he do this? Why not just stop them? He says he could have called down angels from heaven. I guess... He wanted the evil to come out. He wanted all of the bad things to take them upon himself, to let them be brought into the light so that God and he could be present with all of them. He walked through the worst of humanity quietly without reacting without getting angry, he just endured. And then came out the other side. Sometimes fighting is not the answer. Sometimes the greater victory lies in walking through and forgiving. It's mind boggling what Jesus went through, that he would do it so quietly when everyone was so horrible to him. He never reacted in anger. Wow, I certainly can't say the same, can you? Christ-like where that word comes from. We tell our teen teenagers to be Christ-like behind the wheel. People of peace, no matter what goes on around us. Jesus was a man of peace, even to the bitter end. Let us pray.
Almighty God, when the world goes crazy around us, it's easy to go crazy with it. With it. It's easy to react like a ping pong ball be hit from one end to the other. But Jesus didn't do that. No matter how violent and scary things got, he never compromised himself. He never reacted. He stayed centered. Help us too to be people of peace, not victims, but strong. But knowing when there are things that we cannot change. Help us to be victorious in the end as people of love, no matter what happens around us. Lord, I ask you to bless today, especially Frank and Steve. They both passed away and I ask that you would embrace their souls and bless their families that mourn. I ask you to comfort all those who grieve and the sick, those who are dying or hungry, those who suffer abuse, neglect, or hatred, those who are addicted, those who struggle with mental illness. I ask you to bring peace to this world and a greater awareness of its fragility to the human race. Give us wisdom, Lord, and help us to become Christ-like. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.